new technology in the valley uh, proving to be a real game changer for hair loss. A specialist in Henderson is among just a handful of doctors in the whole country to have new robotic technology. 8 News Now anchor Kirsten Joyce gives us a look at the procedure on a young woman. Hair loss is an emotional subject. I was scared at first, but I really didn't know this, like the severity of it. I started balding. And so my hair, uh, my five head was turning into a six head. It was going to eventually become a seven head. Do I look crazy? Two patients, 23-year-old Kirsten Gennady, a Coronado High School grad undergoing the surgery, and 44-year-old John McDonald, the pastor, had it done months ago, both under the care of Dr. Jack Abrams. If we can help um, someone with their self-image, self-confidence, uh, I think we could add a lot. This picture is from Kirsten's surgery a few years ago. At age 12, a curling iron burn caused Kirsten's hair to fall out. It's been 11 years now and I still have it. Promises and procedures over the years met with only disappointment. I had a procedure where they took out, they cut out the bald spot originally and they stitched me back together and that didn't work. So then I tried injections after, that also didn't work and then I had a very expensive cream that d like didn't work either. I honestly gave up. John had as well. My wife and I would talk about it, and she's like, and I, she's like, you know, your hair is thinning, and I'm, well, it is thinning, uh, but once it gets there, I said I'm not gonna fight. I'm not gonna fight the feeling. It's just then it's time to shave it. It's just time to shave it off. She's like, oh no, no. Dr. Abrams prepping Kirsten for what to expect. To my left, you could see the artist. It's the artificial intelligence. <laughs> It helps us with the hair transplantation. It's the most accurate and consistent surgery that we could do. I'm willing to try it because what else is there? Just a handful across the country. We have the only one in the state of Nevada. Procedure is essentially uh, harvesting hair from parts of the scalp that are normal and transplanting it into the affected area that's missing hair. That process in a typical case is about four or five hours for Kirsten, it's probably about an hour or two. There's also PRP, platelet-rich plasma. Essentially, we take the, the patient's blood, we process it, we centrifuge it, we take the clear part that is uh, uh, enriched with nutrients and with growth factors, and we inject that into the affected area. Those patients typically have better results. We did that for John, we are doing that for Kirsten today. While the robot could easily place the grass for John after shaving his head, Kirsten's hair loss is more localized. You can see here the medical team using their hands to place the hair follicles strategically, piece by piece. We did approximately 125 and we transplanted those to the affected area. And I see good blood flow to that area and I think she, she's going to do extremely well. It was pretty quick and easy, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And while we wait three months for Kirsten's results, we can see with John the procedure effective at restoring hair. The hair that we harvest from the back of the head is resistant to the hormones, t testosterone. That hair is expected to last for many decades. And confidence. I don't have to think about how I'm going to comb my hair. Now we will do a follow up when it's time for Kirsten to check back in. The average cost for the procedure, depending on the size of the area, is seven to twelve thousand dollars.